Calgary, Alberta is the site of the beginning of the weekend in the Canadian Premier League match week 11 and the 45th game of the 2023 season. Between these sides, it is match number 50. Cavalry absolutely dominating this all-time fixture despite their loss earlier in the season. Nine wins, three defeats, and two draws between these two sides. Tommy Wilden Jr. makes two changes to his 4-2-3-1, bringing back in Jesse Daly to line up beside Charlie Trafford in the holding midfield side of this 4-2-3-1 also in a 4-2-3-1 but unlike the Cavs wholesale changes seven of them in fact Parrish G, Mobabuli, Brem Sumaro and Lasana Fai are the only players who remain from Wednesday's midweek tilt against the Halifax Wanderer Mobabuli turn and burn down the wing uses the outside of his foot looking for right finds right and I believe that redirects last off of the York United striker Deeper this time, hit by the Cubs, not able to put it on target from Eric Kobza, who is arguing that there was again a touch of a York United defender. A bit fortunate that time, as that was not a clear-cut clearance, and finds Meyer Bevan. G, careful not to bite, Bevan fires anyways. The first shot on target of the match ends up being an easy stop for Nico Giantsopoulos. Trying to pose himself on Charlie what? Trafford. Here's the delivery. It's going to sit to an unmarked man at the far post. Ricci has to do better there. Golden opportunity on a blown assignment from Cavalry. Three red shirts advance towards the ball and not the guy you want to leave alone, Jess. No, this is a great ball in. Bevin shields it back off the ball. Here's Moosey. Nico Giantsopoulos down, seals off that near post. That could have gone very wrong, just What should be the final sequence of the first half. Can Cavalry go into the room, leading this match? Does Mosey try for goal here? He goes up with his left, he does! Giantsopoulos, two fists to it and sends it away. And that will send us to halftime. Nico Giantsopoulos tested with a heat seeker. Eric blows the tire, but still gets the pass off. It's Gareth Smith-Doyle. And a wide open space, and Tigney runs on! And Dante Tigney has opened the scoring for the Cavs! Completely unmarked, coming in from the wing, and a one-touch finish. That fools Nico Giantsopoulos. He loved the instincts and the confidence from a Tigney there, Jess. Yeah, you know, he spoke about how that, that left flank is continuously open. He was not marked be able to get in there and have no pressure and to, to, you know, slot it perfectly. That's exactly what you want in that situation. Right now, it does seem like they're having success finding that direct ball to Bevan to be able to drop it to Moosey, who's in behind him, who's able to, you know, do what he does best, which is dance, as we saw his dancing feet there, um, and play that ball through and really create something for them. So they are having some success with that direct attack right now. Right for Babuli. Yeah! Cannon! ties up the match out of nothing. It's a harmless enough looking pass from Brian Wright. Should have been stymied by Dan Klopp. Not the guy you want to leave completely unmarked as Mobabuli has his fourth of the campaign and brings York United right back into this game. Will he be coming in in a defensive effort? For a moment to try and secure the three points. Game may be the feet of Ali Moussi who goes over the wall. Ali Moussi! It doesn't get better than that! Up and over the wall and gives the crossbar a smooch on the way down. Cavalry back in front. And for me, you got to give Gote and take me in a sip. He does the same. Samara almost takes the ball off of Moosey's feet. Alou for Santos. Up towards Brian Wright. A chance to level the match. And again, just from in close. The striker's just not finishing today. Good strength from Antigone. Scrappy are both Gagnol Apare and Petrasso. Samara from the center circle. Wide right. Kevin Santos starts a run. Kevin Santos, does he have another bit of magic? Santos up, Bellucci makes the catch.
The foot soldiers will feel it any minute now. Tommy Wilden Jr. knows how close they are, but the job's not done. Ayrt comes over to compete with Petrasso. Tommy's blowing his whistle, tapping at his watch. The referee's not ready to do the same. Tops it into the box. Cops it can't clear. Bouncing around Petrasso. For it is Udoka Chima. And the Cavs hang on. A wild finish to this match as Marco Carducci gets his 50th win in the Canadian Premier League and had to be big down the stretch. It will be Ali Moussi's goal, the difference, and an incredible performance for Cavalry, who remain unbeaten at home this season.